What is going on guys? Uh, welcome. Uh, all right, I just gotta let this out. I am in this weird funk. I've been in this weird funk all week and I just honestly, I feel out of it. So I am going to get camp set up, situated, so I can start enjoying my time out here. Dang, uh, so it started raining and thunderstorming on me. Um, I quickly turned on the camera because I was just sitting here and I saw a lightning strike. And it looked pretty close. Okay. I'm gonna take in this thunderstorm. I will see you guys afterwards. That just happened. Um, not gonna lie, I did say a little prayer earlier because I was, uh, I'm in a pretty good thunderstorm. And the only reason I was recording and captured that was because I kept seeing lightning outside this window. And I was like, through that like little, just where all the, where the opening where the trees are, I could just, you know, I kept seeing lightning, so I was like, let me record. I'll get some of that. Oh my god, man. 
That was scary. That happened right above me. Oof. All right. Let's see how long this lasts. The storm's been going on for a little over half an hour now. And it's raining real good. When I did check the weather, it did say there was supposed to be some, a chance of some afternoon showers. <clears throat> was not expecting this. The rain has stopped. I so let's uh, see. <clears throat> so after that huge thunder and lightning that happened, the thunder and lightning lasted about maybe 10, 15 more minutes, and then it was just heavy rain, heavy rain for about an hour, and then after that for about another hour, it was just a, a good rain, a good amount of rain that was falling, and then it all but stopped, and I was just laying down relaxing the whole time if, if it was not after all the lightning and thunder stopped and it was just the rain and then the rain stopped and it was just peace and quiet and then the animals kicked in so that's when i decided to get up so it, it's crazy all the animals kicked in and i could hear turkeys uh birds squirrels and i'm pretty sure i heard i could hear some deer as well um but anyways, I'm in my tent right now, and I should be free and clear from any rain or any thunderstorms or anything like that from here on out. Um, but I'm in my tent, and so I, there is a little issue. So I moved everything, and there's water. You can see right there, a bunch right here, and water all right here. So water was getting in uh, somewhere. So that's why I moved like my, my backpack, my uh, battery pack uh, away from this wall. But now I'm gonna get my shoes on and I'm gonna venture outside because I wanna see the damage that is outside, how bad it is outside. Oh wait, you know what? Ugh, let me take these back off. Before I do that, I forgot, I'm gonna put you guys right over here. I have a towel. Let me do this, that should be good. There you go, all right, I have a towel in here. It's a spare towel, perfect. There we go. And this will help soak everything up. Okay. Cool, okay, that should help. So let me put my shoes on and then let's venture outside and see the damage out there. Everything's wet. <sighs> All right. Oh man, my chair is wet too, shoot. So it was windy and I could hear the wind, but I really couldn't feel it because I'm within the trees and most of the trees were blocking it. But I could still, when I would peer outside, I could see the rain coming in sideways. <sighs> oh yeah, this is soaked. So is this. Oh man, all oh, this is wet. Now let's put that up there. Okay, so that got all, oh man. You can tell it rained hard because you can look right here. 
all the splash back. All right. This is all wet. Like you can see, dirt was just, yeah, it was just splashing everywhere, man. Okay. So, I brought wood to have a really cool fire. It's right there. It got drenched in the rain. So, that happened. Yeah, it's wet. It's all wet. And then I was also going to burn that stuff up, but I know it's all wet. Everything's wet. And, like, another crappy thing that I forgot was... I forgot... Um, so the junk mail that I get, I use that as kindling to get the fire started. I forgot that. And, you know, on the way here, I was like, eh, whatever, you know, not that big of a deal. I'll just grab whatever sticks, little twigs, the pines, and that'll be my kindling. But everything's wet because it rained and it rained hard and it rained for a while that everything just got soaking wet. So I'm not cooking on the campfire, which is a good thing. But I still wanted to have a campfire to enjoy it. You know, rest and relax. That's what my trip was, uh, or is, all about today. Or this trip. Today and, and tomorrow. So this is what the campfire ring looks like right now. I was going to fix it up and clean it up. I think I might do a little bit. But I'm not going to do that much like I normally do. Um, just because I know everything's wet. I mean, the rocks don't matter, but, like, all the dirt and stuff in it is wet, and it'll just create more of a mess. The one thing I am worried about is opening up my truck bed, because when I was closing it, there was water leaking in right here. And then I do know on the ends over there, water does leak. So... That happened. And then another thing that I noticed is right here, along this entire seam till about right here, it split. So if you look really close, you can see like where the split is. And so I have a feeling water, water got in that way. You know what I'm going to do first before I actually open up the truck bed is let's shake this off. Oh, 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 water is on top of that too. Okay, so that's not a good idea. Maybe tap it like that. Oh yeah, water definitely is coming through there. Wow, it rained that hard. Okay. I Yeah, I, and I will say this canopy... I've been using it for over a year now and it has some tears. So there's a tear right here. This is a newer tear. This tear has always like, it's been here for pretty much the whole time. This is a new tear, a newer tear. And you can look like right here, it's starting to tear a little bit. And then over here as well, like right here and here. And up here. So you can see because it's traveling and rubbing so much that it's thinning out. Okay. I guess that's another good thing to know. Man, everything got wet and I have nothing to dry it with. It actually doesn't look that bad. But let's flip this open and then we will actually see. Okay, okay. All right. So here. I'll show you guys. So... So it's all on the edges where uh, it got same, same over here. Looks like some water on top of here. 
and then water all along here. Well, let me, hopefully this box didn't get wet. Um, yeah, not that bad, just a little. Cool. All right, that, box, that side doesn't look that bad. Cool, so it's not that bad in there. Let me close this up. So here I'll show you guys a good example of the tear. You can take a look. See it? So I'm gonna clean up all the water, you know, from here, here, try to see what I can do about the chair so I can sit, the cooler, um, a little bit in here, and then I'll set everything up. And then I'll, I'm gonna fix up the fire ring a little bit. I'm not gonna do what I normally do, but I'll fix it up a little bit. And then I think after that I'm gonna cook because I am getting hungry and I'm gonna think about how to so that I'm feeling even this stuff, let me feel it. Yeah, even this stuff is wet. So I'll have to think about how I am going to start the fire. For right now, cleanup time. So that is what it looks like. So I did walk around and get some pine needles and little sticks and twigs that felt mostly dry. Um, we'll see how the fire goes. I think it'll get started and going. I, I really don't think I'll have a problem, but I mean, we'll find out soon enough when I start it up. Another thing that I don't think I told you guys is that I, this camp spot that I'm at, I camped here before, like two week, two, three weeks ago I camped here and my setup, because I couldn't have a campfire, um, I didn't set up where that fire ring was, I actually did my setup right in between these two trees right here. That's where I had my setup. Now I am actually getting ready to make my dinner. So I, I'm keeping it super simple. So it's funny, this trip I was planning on doing a little bit of exploring and checking out a new area and obviously camping over there. I scrapped that just because of how the week was going and my day yesterday and I didn't get it, you know, it's like, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go to a, a good spot that I know and enjoy being out in nature. So that's what I did. And in part of that, I decided to not like meal prep or cook a bunch of food on the campfire, which actually worked out because of how it rained. 
Um, I decided to keep it super simple so I could enjoy more time out here. So I'm just making fried rice and some sea scallops and that's gonna be my dinner. I already have everything pretty much prepped. Here's my onions, garlic, veggies, rice, eggs, all my seasonings. And then my scallops are still in the cooler. Once I make my fried rice, then I'll make the scallops. All right, time to make dinner. So I have been working at the fire maybe for about the past, like, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes. It's starting to get going now. We will see if it uh, doesn't die off or it keeps going. Here, let's make some adjustments. Let me put that like that. Throw this in there. Throw some of these. All right, hopefully that'll keep it going and it'll get going. So take a look at my uh, dinner, guys. That is my scallops and my fried rice. So let me check. Oh man, this is seat is still wet how about this that's wet so it looks like i'm gonna be standing while i eat lovely and then i'll be working on the fire until then i'll be eating and i guess working on the fire it's starting to go out dang it Ooh, it looks like there's a piece of wood that caught on fire let's let it keep going
All right, I'm gonna keep working on the fire. I'm gonna eat and we'll see what happens. Well, no campfire. I tried for like an hour. You can see, I just couldn't keep the flame long enough and get it big enough to go and get everything dried up and going and burning. So there you go. Tried for like an hour and epic fail. Hmm. So I'm making my tea. Got my stuff right there. And then I'm gonna chill and probably call it a night. So I will see you guys at some point tomorrow morning. All right, so I decided to start packing up camp. I decided to scrap breakfast, not even more <clears throat> worry about that. I just enjoyed my tea, relaxed for a little bit. And you know, I woke up this morning with like, like, you know, tingling and like weirdness in my throat. So I feel like I might be getting a sore throat. I did take some more medicine, my tea did help. But since this trip isn't going my way, and you know, I can't win them all. So it's just one of those trips that I have to put in the bag is not so great <clears throat> but anyways this is where i'm gonna leave you guys so just like normal i appreciate you remember it is only impossible until it no longer is and hopefully i'll see you next time all right take care guys